What's up, outsiders? This is part two of my CalTopo how-to. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to export a route from CalTopo and import it into a GPS device or smartphone app. I'm also gonna show you how to import data into CalTopo. All right, let's get started. First thing we need to do is log into CalTopo.com using whatever authentication method you previously used. I used Google, so I'll sign in with Google, choose my account, and now I'm signed in. Then we'll bring up our saved map of right by clicking on our name, going to your maps, and clicking on right peak. If that was too quick, check out my previous tutorial where I go over the login process in detail and how to save and bring up your maps. We can verify our route with the profile tool. So you can see we're climbing up to right peak and then climbing down right peak. Now we just need to export the route in a format our devices will understand. Typically, this will be GPX or KML, sometimes KMZ, which is the compressed format of KML, and KML is more of Google's format. GPX is more of a general GPS format. The good news is CalTopo can do either. I'm going to export to GPX. So I click export, download file to GPX. And I'm gonna select all of the objects, both the marker, which is the point showing right peak, and the shape, which is the route to right peak. Then you click export, and you can see in your browser, it downloaded it to your downloads folder. If we take a look at our downloads folder, you'll notice that it created a file called right underscore peak dot GPX. This is the file that we're gonna use on our devices. All of the major GPS devices and apps have a website. Garmin, Sunto, Gaia, all have web interfaces that allow you to import routes and automatically sync them to your devices. Sunto and Gaia also have smartphone apps that allow you to import via Dropbox. All you need to do is drop that GPX file into Dropbox and click import on the app. I can't really speak for Garmin because I don't have a Garmin device. I have a Sunto watch, so I will show you the process on Gaia, a GPS app that I use quite a bit. So on their webpage, there's a login button. I'm gonna log in. And then what I do is click on my name and you'll see this upload. And I'm gonna name this, I'm gonna call it right peak. And then I'm gonna go select that GPX file. Open, upload, and now I have the route in my Gaia web interface, which will automatically sync to the Gaia app on the iPhone. Importing into the Gaia GPS smartphone app is almost as easy. What I've already done is I've moved the right peak GPX file over to my Dropbox folder. So if I launched Gaia GPS and click the plus button in the upper right, all the way at the bottom you can see there's an import file. I'm gonna import the file, it brings up my Dropbox. There's the right peak file GPX. I'm gonna click on that. All imports are complete. Shows the route here. And what you can do is you can go to the folder where it has saved, and you can also see the route there. And if your main map doesn't have the route on it, you can go to saved, open up the route, and show on map. And it'll show it to you on the map. Now you can follow that track to the summit of right. Importing data into CalTopo is almost as simple as exporting it. First, we'll make sure we're centered on our route. You wanna make sure your zoom is a reasonable size and it'll make it easier when you actually import the data. Next, we need to find data to import and Google is your friend here. I find tons of GPX files from people that are gracious enough to post them. I find routes and data points and layers all over the place. I'm gonna show you two great resources. First is a user-generated Google map of all of the lean-tos in New York State. I'll post the link in the description. And to get this information into CalTopo, 
you need to export it from Google and you use these three dots right here and you can say download KML and we're just gonna say okay and it downloaded to our downloads folder and now we are gonna go back to our CalTapo and we're gonna click import and because this is this layer has all of the lean tos throughout New York State we really don't need that for our map so when I click on this we're gonna be offered a dialog box and you can see here it says on map and then if we scroll down a little bit farther maybe one mile from the map so when I told you to zoom your map to the extent that you want to uh, make a map out of and perhaps maybe what your route will entail now you can say I only want the lean-tos that are on the map so unfortunately there's no way to do that completely they're sorted but you still need to click all of them so we'll go through and click these now based on our extent and the scale of our map which is reasonable for us to actually hike during our trip we selected all of the lean-tos that are on the map now I'm going to click import and they're going to import as markers. You may see some extra data in here depending on how the person encoded the file. Now let's say we don't like the red dots. We want to change it to a camp icon. So we can come down here at the bottom of our markers, click bulk ops. I'm going to click the first one, hold down shift and click the last one. And I'm going to say change attributes. And I'm just going to change the style to, let's say, this lean-to looking icon right here. Click Update. And now all of our lean-tos are displayed on the map. And maybe, you know, black is a little bit hard to read. We can do that bulk ops again. Click the first one. Shift. Click the last one. Change attributes and we'll go with the style and we're going to change the color to uh, i did like the red so let's let's keep the red but change the style back to our lean to so now we can kind of see where the lean tos are on our route if we need to stay anywhere now let's say we want to make a, a map from scratch and the easiest way to i found to clear the map is to just go back to the main url click return and now you're back to a blank map and like I said Google is your friend I found this site which I will also put in the description of a person who has done a ton of hikes on, in the Adirondacks if you go up one level uh, you can see all his other hikes he's been around the country quite a bit so we'll go back to the Adirondacks and let's say we want to use his whiteface ester gpx file we can just download that file it's in our downloads folder now i'm going to go back to caltapo and we're going to just do that same thing with the with a route and now we're going to select the whiteface ester and again because now we're zoomed out uh, our map is a little bit bigger so all of our points are on the map if you notice his gpx file contained a bunch of points or markers and also the shape which is the route to whiteface and ester I'm gonna click import you can see it's kinda of small uh, we're zoomed out quite a bit so what we can do is let's just click on the route and it'll take us right to uh, the actual route and zoom in and now we can see the various uh, things that we're gonna encounter on the route let's say we don't like these markers we can go into that bulk ops again and instead of red we're gonna just change the color style we're gonna keep it as a as a dot and we'll just change it to let's do purple and now we have our various points along the way and our route and if you want to take that and get it into Gaia or your GPS device you can simply just export to GPX file. And now you'll have all of that information in your GPS. So that was a quick tutorial on how to import and export various features from 
CalTapo to your smartphone app or GPS. Next video, I'm going to do some of the advanced features of folders and bulk operations. I went through it really quickly in this video. I'm gonna do another video with those features of CalTapo and a few other advanced features that I've come upon along the way. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click that like button. If you wanna see other outdoor how-tos or outdoor adventure videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside.